Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric and today we're going to talk about electricity and simplifying it a little bit. I'm going to give you two different uh, examples. The first one is going to be how water flows through a water pipe. Then the next one is going to be how electricity flows through uh, a wire. So let's first talk about a water pipe. We have um, water flowing um, and it has to get from one place to another. Uh, we use a conduit or a piece of pipe. It can be metal, PVC, uh, lots of different materials. Um, then we have this amount of water that we want to get from point A to point B. Uh, then something has to push it. So we're going to use a um, motor to um, push that um, water. Uh, it's going to build up pressure. And that's going to be our PSI. And that's going to push the flow and cause the flow of water to go from one place to another. Uh, just like with electricity, we have um, Instead of a water pipe, we have a piece of wire. Um, instead of having water, we have amperage um, or current. And instead of a pump um, with the PSI, we have voltage. So voltage acts as our pressure. Uh, current is our quantity of electricity. And resistance is the size of um, the device that it takes to go from point A to point B, whether it be um, a copper wire or aluminum wire uh, just as with a um, water pipe um, it could be a different material, it could be PVC, it could be metal uh, but that facilitates the flow um, of water in a water pipe or electricity in a piece of wire. Um, so there's a lot of different factors in that flow uh, with voltage it depends on the speed of the the uh, flow of electricity if I wanted to um, have a medium speed, maybe 120 volts is going to be my pressure pushing that current through that piece of wire. Uh, if I wanted a faster speed, it would be 240 volts. It's going to give me a faster flow of electricity. Or maybe I just need 9 volts and it's going to be a slower flow of electricity uh, or getting my quantity of electricity, which is amperage, and that's our unit of measurement for that. Um, to get from point A to point B. Um, now how it gets there is through that piece of wire. Just like a water pipe, if you have a big pipe you can push a lot of water through it. If you have a big wire you can push a lot of current through it. And um, so those the wires are measured in different gauges. It tells you whether you have a big wire or small wire. Um, but just like in a water pipe, if you try and force a lot of water through a water pipe, um, you're going to damage the pipe. You're going to make it um, split, leak, crack. Uh, something's going to happen to it. If you try and force or pull too much um, amperage through a piece of wire, it's going to heat up. It's going to melt. It's going to cause a fire. And uh, that's how that flows. So we have to make sure that we're using the proper size of conduit for uh, pushing water from point A to point B. Just like we have to make sure we have the proper size of wire to get our current from point A to point B. Um, so that's pretty much how electricity flows. If you have any questions, please contact me. Let me know. Say, hey, Ken, um, can you tell me you know, how this works or give me a little bit of explanation of um, how this works. I'm happy to answer that for you. You can hit contact me, uh, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on Twitter. Lots of ways to get a hold of me. Uh, but what it comes down to is I want to be your electrician. I want to be the person that gives you that advice and I want to be the one that helps you. So thanks for coming to my site at powersourcetutorials.com and I look forward to hearing from you.